question that I dislike the most. <laughs> this was sent to me by Amanda. Amanda sent this to me in 1998, or 1999. Dear Mr. Meyer Trice, my name is Amanda, I am 11, I am doing a report for school and need to know how the Venus flytrap got that name. I know it's not from Venus, so why is it called that? Please write back. I like your website. Well, in case you don't know, let me tell you a little bit about how the Venus flytrap, our centerpiece plant, got its name. The story involves a number of people coming, um, one, one is the Governor Arthur Dobbs of Northern Carolina, um, was governor in the 1700s. And Governor Dobbs was the connection for carnivorous plants, the Andreas Vistula of his day. <laughs> and he had these amazing catch fly sensitives, also known as Tepinowichets. An odd name, Tepinowichets. Mysterious, but all of his friends of the time seemed to know what Tepinowichets meant. We'll see exactly what they're referring to. I will also talk about what the Tepito Witch is and how it got its bizarre name, Dionea. The official story, the, as published by James Ellis, the ingenious Dr. Solander dissected this plant before some of his friends, and from the beautiful out appearance of its milk white flowers and the elegance of its leaves, thought it well deserved of one of the names of the goddess of beauty, and therefore called it Dionea. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's a cute plan. But really, Dianea? Perhaps the name was not for the beauty of this plant, for the goddess of love's more ethereal attributes, but for some of the more baser connections with the goddess Dianea. And also, how did this plant get the name from Tepita Witchet, whatever that was, the name of Dionea Muscipula. These guys know Latin. Muscipula does not mean flycatcher. Muscipula roughly translates to mouse catcher. Something more interested in feasting upon mammals <laughs> and not insects. So let's go a little bit further into this discussion of where did the name Tepinowitcher actually come from? Peter Collinson wrote in 1784, I hear my friend Dobbs in 73 has got a colt's tooth in his head and has married a young lady of 22. It is now in vain to write to him for seeds of Pat of Tepinowitcher now that he has one of his own. <laughs> means that he's got a rather young, sprightly attitude. <laughs> and the term to pit a widget apparently is a reference, a naughty reference, to, as Daniel McKinley delicately places it, oh lord, the female pudendal region. Ah, uh, the goddess of love's mammal capturing device now becomes clear. <laughs> Dogs, you dog, you. <laughs> Incidentally, Justina Davis was not 22, marrying Dobbs at 73. She was a sprightly 15. Oh. <laughs> I can only oh, suck. wonder <laughs> what was going on in Dobbs' mind. Bring the whip, I better make back! 
what do we tell the children? <laughs> oh, dear Rachel, they're so pretty. We named them Venus flytraps for their lovely flowers. <laughs>